Hi baby, it's Vidic here and welcome to Arav. Arav is a brand new server released just two weeks ago. So in today's video, what better to do than get acquainted with a server? We're going to be checking all the bosses out, the interfaces, the mini games, and we're going to be opening up 100 golden scratch tickets. I'm excited for those. The drop rates seem really good. There's actually a forum post that shows you all of the different drops and the rarities. And I can see just on Uncommon, he drops fucking Torva, Virtus, Pernix, all of the Spirit Shields, just a ton of the best in slot gear in the entire game. Speaking of, we also have an extremely overpowered setup. Now, it's not best in slot, but we do have some really good stuff, including the Silver Light. We got the Offhand Drygore. We've got a couple of things that we can upgrade. Hopefully, we'll get those upgrades from the Golden Scratch tickets. Now, I know all this talk about these scratch tickets probably making you want some, so we're going to be doing a nice, a juicy $150 giveaway. 10 scratch tickets, 5 winners, 2 each. All you've got to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your air of in-game name down below. By the way, this is actually the donator zone, and when I checked it out, I knew I had to start the video here, because this place is just super nostalgic. I remember having a couple donator zones in this underground pass area like years ago, and it was always my favorite. Now, I actually have Premium Donator as well. Wait, what did I just say yes to? Okay. Look at the Premium Donator shop. Oh, there's actually overloads here. Alright, remind me to get that before we go PBM. But of course, the real home is in beautiful Edgeville, nice and bright. So how about we start opening our Golden Scratch tickets right here. Now, remember, click them as quick as I can. Ooh, that's actually a good start. So any dragon uh, trimmed armor, it's like the gold trim. Each piece will actually give you a 5% drop rate increase, so that's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Alright, we got the anguish already. So I'm gonna keep the drop table open. That's actually on the rare drops. So the legendary drops have a lot of rares. Oh, look again. So that's 10% drop rate increase. Legendary drop table actually has a twisted bow on it. So that, oh, look at that. We, we got an upgrade. That's actually exactly what I wanted, too. Alright, we just got an entire full set of armor. That's nice. Okay, and we got an Ellie. I don't think there's a divine here, so I believe the Ellie is better. Now I'm looking. Ooh. Five mystery boxes, don't mind if I do. Alright, I'll take it. I actually kind of needed Chrome one, so I ain't mad. So it seems like whenever there's a Christmas cracker there, it's going to give you a an uncommon. Maybe two Christmas crackers is a rare, and three Christmas crackers is legendary. That is looking correct. We got Pernix and a Tour of a Body. There you go. That also gives you a drop rate boost, but I mean, it's a uh, dragon, so it's not going to help out that much. Ganodermic, I didn't even know we could get that. Oh! Oh, there we go! Oh, hell yeah. All right. We got two Christmas crackers. That means that we got a rare and we got the torture exactly what we needed. So our setup is getting upgraded. All we really need now are the boots. The uh, steadfast boots. Oh, okay. I'll take the claws too. All right. Give me the steadfast boots, please. Oh, oh I can't really say unlucky. All right. So bam, that's 50 scratch tickets. We got a ton of good stuff. Um, might as well take these claws out here. Because it's time to gear up and do some bossing. But first of all, thank you for reminding me, guys. I really appreciate that. I'm going to buy some of these overloads. How much were they? Okay. Rock tails, bones, chins. I'm curious, what's in the other donator shops? Oh, shit. Okay. There's a lot. This is the super donator shop. That is quite useful. Lots of flasks. Let's see the legendary shop. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. It's got extreme potions, but we got the overloads. So we don't have to worry about that shit. So let's head back home and check out this area first. You got some shops. Pretty self-explanatory. Explorer Jack looks quite interesting over here. He'll sell you a cannon. Nice to see you can just buy a cannon without having to donate or anything. Sorceress, what do you do? What are your secrets? Oh, okay, cool. Wilderness Slayer task. I like that. That's always really nice to see. Um, fuck it. Give me a task. See what we can get. Tormented Demon? The server's off to a great start. Not only did they have Wilderness Slayer, but they got bosses in the wilderness that you could get assigned for Wilderness Slayer. That's my favorite thing. And they're not bosses that are usually located in there, too. That's the best. I'm sorry, I'm afraid of the wilderness. What happens there? Oh, she just <laughs> stops talking to me. <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. You also got Slayer Mage here for regular Slayer. Lots of good little stuff you can get from here. Ooh, Infernal Guide. Do they have... What do they got here? I haven't even checked out the teleports. Oh, okay, cool. They do have it. So you get a Fire Cape. You can sacrifice it and actually kill the boss to get the Infernal Cape. No, I didn't... I know I didn't get all this stuff on my own. But you guys know I can take that bitch down. Easy peasy. I've done it plenty of times before. Ooh, that guy is stacked up with the gold G. That guy, that's a drop rate bonus right there. Should have got the, sh the defender, though. Ooh, okay, perfect. They also have, like, a grand exchange trading post kind of system. This is almost always necessary, you know? Nice, you can just scroll through people's names, and then you can just kind of click on one, and it should show what they're selling. He's got some good stuff. 
Not bad at all. And of course, you can also list your own sales easy peasy. Now, the vote point store, not something you usually show off, but I'm really liking this one. It actually has a lot of useful stuff, including the drop rate bonus armors, even overloads, and mystery boxes. What's there not to love with that? You can get a fucking mystery box every time you vote. Alright, so interfaces. First of all, settings. I already took off the 10 times hits because I don't really like that. But they got a lot of nice options. You can change your game frame as well. You know what? I do like this game frame be better. So they actually updated the teleports interface. And it's, this is looking great. Nice, clean, and simple. Like I said, the server is brand new. It's only been out for two weeks. They already have a few update threads with a bunch of bug fixes, new content changes, like this nice teleport interface. So we might as well start off here on the mini games. I'm not going to do most of these, but it's good to check out. Warriors Guild Pets, they got all the good stuff. All the good stuff, including the fight cave for your fire cape. You don't see fight pit that often. And Treasure Island, we can do this one because this one's neat. So basically, you go to each corner, kill each boss. The fuck this guy's protecting? Go to each corner, kill each boss, get the keys, open your rewards. So let's overload up here. Now, I thought this item was usually just for Skatizo and like demons and stuff, but I think they just made it an overall good weapon. They also added in Skatizo recently, so I'm guessing maybe this thing is just nutty on him. And there it is. We got our first key. Sagittary. Sagittary key. Alright, she's not protected from him anything. It's just the other guy. Guess you're just stupid. Alright, second one down, and now we got Harlock the wrist split. Okay, this guy looks a little scary. I'm hoping he melees, yeah. He's a meathead. Sit your ass down. Ooh, we got a little casket too. Maybe maybe have a couple GPs for me? Okay, I'll take that too, I guess. We got another mage, the unholy curse bearer. What's going on with your arm? You missing an arm? <laughs> Is he supposed to be missing his right arm? That doesn't look right. I mean, the way he's swinging his staff, yeah, it looks like he's he's been missing that arm for a while. Shitty. And that one is fucking pretty juicy, actually. Oh, hit, we hit over a 70 with that, so because we got an achievement. I'll be seeing you later, and I'll be seeing that last key in my inventory. Okay, I'll take another casket. I'm cool with that. That's actually pretty nice. I don't know how many inventory spaces I possibly need. I don't even know what you can really get from these. What I do know is you can usually choose any chest. And the best one, I'm liking, I'm liking this one. I don't know what the fuck is spilling out of it, but that's hot as fuck. Okay. Okay, I mean, it's not the worst. That's, that's actually kind of decent. That's a really good bolt. That's probably the best bolt in the game for bossing. And speaking of, let's check out the bosses next. So, all the God Wars, Ganodermic Beast, nice to see. Not too common. Nex, Zolra, Phoenix. They have a, okay, they have a lot of bosses. Look at this, holy shit. All right, that's a lot of bosses. A few ones you don't see that often as well. Um, so who should we check out first? Now, I don't really... I'm not thinking about going to the wild yet. I will. Probably to fight Skatizo, but we'll have to take off our gear. Before we fight him, come on check out the Ganodermic Beast. I don't fight this boss very often. Oh, we got somebody here already. Ew, what the fuck is that hole in your... In your ass? Alright, I'm taking your kill, my dude. That's alright, I'm just gonna kill one anyway, so... Oh, okay, I get this guy's name now. Jack me Chan. Chan probably being his penis. Or hopefully, at least. Alright, you noob, GG was easy. Not an extremely challenging boss, but let's see if we get anything good. Planted I'm seed. Okay. Now they do also have drop tables. Uh Clone Clone drops. Gonna go ahead and do that for you. Alright, Ganodermic Beast. What do you got? What do you got? Okay, he drops Ganodermic. Obviously, am I fucking stupid or something? And the polypore staff as well. You can pretty much melee next, right? I'm pretty sure you can. Do you guys think we can do it? <laughs> This is what we got here. Oh fuck, alright. Well, we got no choice. I'm coming, bitch. I do like the new little hit markers when they show you like what style you're getting attacked by. That is nice. Alright, we're getting the next piece drop, guys, I'm telling you. Oh, he's meleeing me too. So that's one of the downsides of Oh fuck, his melee hits hard. That's one of the downsides of meleeing instead of range, was now we can use two styles on ya. But you know what we could do? If we're smart, how do we tell you it's off? Okay. We just kind of flick him. No, he fu look at that shit. He, he knew I was coming and he got that melee ready. This is the strat, guys. Also, I think we drank a Cerebrew. Yeah, we did. And our stats were still overloaded, so that's really nice. Alright, any moment now? There we go. He's calling his boy. He's calling his boy. Now we gotta go kill Fumis. We've got our almost half HP, though. We're doing alright. Alright, now it's Umbra's little bitch-ass turn to die. Bro, you put a shadow under this fucking guy? Can't even attack him without getting hit now. Alright, back on the big boy here. Alright, it's looking quite promising, guys. Where are you going? 
Oh, look at Nex coming. <laughs> look at Nex coming over. Look at that walk. <laughs> Such an angry walk. It's like the angry dad walk. We did our overload did run out. I think we're gonna have to pop one. All right, let's end this once and for all, Mister Nexy boy. Dying a prison of ice. Uh oh, forget about how that one does. Oh shit, I forgot there's one more. I'm an idiot. Yeah, there's four corners, four idiots you gotta kill. All right, Glacius is dead. It's over, bitch. It is over, bitch. Now the power of zero, so. All right, I'm calling it right here, right now. Torva plate legs. Torva plate legs on the ground. Fuck. By the way, I've also got working dungeoneering as well. All you do is you click on dungeoneering and it'll bring you over. Who do we got here? There's Thok. You can obviously get Chaotix. Lots of useful gears and armors, especially that Bone Crusher. And how about we do a floor refer ourselves here. So we did just set my stats for this video, just to make sure I had stats for everything like Slayer and my combat. This is the first dungeoneering floor though, so it's going to be the easiest. Now usually you do have to get kill count, and what I recommend doing is finding the low level guys and killing those. So, like the ghost, the level 19 ghost, perfect. Fucking 10 HP. I don't like that poisonous spider. Fuck off. Don't poison me. Oh my god. You're gonna follow me to the end of the earth. No! He fucking sniped me with that poison. Alright, we'll go to this boss room then. Okay, shit, we need our 10 kills. Alright, there you go. Once you got your 10 kill count, you got as much food and potions that you need, head into one of the two boss rooms. Up to you which one you want to fight. Are you kidding me right now? This bitch, she has protect from melee on. Okay, we're still hitting fine. Alright, that was a bit annoying, bitch, with your protect from melee, but she's done so. Finish her off with a speco. And there we go. We got a war key. And you use the war key to open up whichever war chest you want. Hopefully we get something good. Give me a primal rapier. Oh. Alright. Oh, uh, that's also pretty good. We'll bind it. And there you go. You exit. You're gonna get a bunch of XP. You're gonna get a bunch of levels. And yeah, always a really nice addition to have. Now, we got 50 more golden scratcher to kits. So let's finish these off. And now that my arm is off, we might as well just uh, stay naked and, and wear what we get here. All right. Ooh. Oh, shit. Look, we got a tormented bracelet. Look at that. We're getting... Oh, my God. We got the suffering, too. Ooh, look at that. Ancestral. You know, I didn't even know we could get ancestral from this. Ooh, another ancestral piece. All right, we'll wear this. The game's telling me something. All right, what are we looking for here? Ancestral legs would be nice. I'd also, ooh, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take another one of those. Let's get that legendary drop. I'll take another. I'll take that too. Okay, we're getting lost. We got the uh, spirit shields we weren't getting. We got an arcane and we got spectral. Happy about that. Anger mace also didn't get that. It's filling in the holes here, okay? But you're gonna have to fill in my hole right here. Ah. Oh. All right, my hole's still open. Fill it in. Ah, oh, that was close. <laughs> Alright, that was the last one. Yeah, we're looking a little off without the legs, but these, eh, I guess those match a little bit better. But alright, let's just put it all in the bank here. Um, we got a fucking ton of stuff. A ton of next pieces. We pretty much got every set and some extras. We hit the rare table quite a bit too with the ancestral pieces and any of the Zenite jewelry. Um, really nice. What's cool about these tickets, there's not a lot of bad stuff. Pretty much everything you get is gonna be good. Uh, you know, obviously you can get... The dragon skimmy or gives you a drop rate bonus, but it's still a dragon skimmy or, you know, like a BGS. BGS actually isn't that bad, though. The worst thing you can get are probably the crystal keys. That's pretty much it. And we didn't even get that many of those. Well, all right, guys, I think that's going to be it for our video here on Erev. I feel like it's hard for me to say that. Erev. Shield of Erev. Shield of Erev. Erev. We opened up 100 golden scratch tickets, got an insane amount of stuff. Uh, did a little tour of the server as well. Some bosses, some mini games, some scaling. Yeah, I'm really liking the server. Really solid. Lots of stuff to do. I like, always like seeing a ton of bosses. We got all the ones you expect and more that you really don't see that often. This teleport interface is really nice too, besides the fact that, like, you got teleports, like, everywhere. You know, there's nothing worse than getting a Slayer task on an RSPS and then not having any teleports to the dungeon. So you gotta teleport to, like, Artie and walk, like, halfway across the world. Combat mechanics are great. They've also almost got 30 people online right now, and that might not seem like a lot, but this server is brand new. It's only been up for two weeks. So they're definitely making some really good progress so far. Now remember guys, we're giving away a 10 Golden Scratcher tickets. Five winners, two each. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Arav in-game name down below. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give Arav a try, it is worth it. They're already releasing more than one update a week. Link will be right at the top of the description guys. 
like the video if you did enjoy subscribe to my channel more videos and have a nice day